Many people fall into this misconception that being poor is a matter of fate. True, and not at the same time. You see, if you're born poor, it is not your fault, but it is ultimately your fault if you choose to stay poor. People can change their fate anytime they want, and if they are still not doing it, they are lazy and avoid hard work. Welcome to Insight Booth, your home of insights that inspire forever. Today, we discuss the top 10 reasons why staying poor is a choice. You'll never be liberated from poverty until you see this truth, so watch till the end. 1. Work on two to three jobs to cover the bills. The trouble with being poor is that it takes up all your time, a harsh reality that most workaholics suffer from. Poor people have to work two or three different jobs to try and cover the bills. Yet the thought of getting a better paid job doesn't crop up. Why? Because poor people often believe they don't deserve a better paying job or are stuck in the poor mentality cycle. They cannot be anything but poor. If you believe in, the poor always stay poor. You won't be motivated to try and change the situation. Two value of time and opportunity cost. Suppose a poor person gets the option to work a 10-hour shift for $100 or a 5-hour shift for $75. Surely, he will choose the 10-hour shift because earning $100 is $25 higher than $75. However, the hourly rate drops dramatically when you work out the hourly rate of both shifts. Instead of only working 5 hours and being able to invest the additional 5 hours elsewhere, a poor person is stuck in 10-hour shifts and gets too tired to work on anything more profitable when the shift is over. The cycle repeats and enables a poor person to remain poor. Choosing the five-hour shift gives you more time to rest, makes you available for new opportunities, and gives you more time to pursue different ways of earning an income. 3. Susceptible to illnesses and diseases The poor vitally need insurance because they're exposed to more significant risks than the wealthy. Their job is unstable, they're more vulnerable to disease, and they endure violence more often. With the lack of basic needs, poor people cannot maintain healthy well-being leading to different illnesses and adding to their financial burden. Poor people prefer not to go to hospitals for consultations and treatments because of financial struggles that results in their health condition worsening. What about insurance, you ask? You see, insurance companies fail to insure the poor simply because it's unprofitable for them. Don't blame the insurance companies, though. In the case of the poor, they get exposed to fraudulent claims, the tendency of the insured to take risks or run up costly medical bills, difficulty collecting payments, and so on. What's worse, the poor don't trust the insurers, as insurance is based on paying for something you don't yet need. This dynamic is built entirely on trust. If the poor don't know the insurers, it's hard to grant them that trust. What's more, poor people prefer to settle with communities of the same financial state. These communities commonly have an unsanitary environment, leading to a health hazard for the residents. 4. Lack of savings Savings are essential for every household. We need to have a backup whenever an emergency happens. Poor people have low-paying jobs and are often stuck in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck with no money for an emergency. However, they stay without an emergency fund due to a lack of financial literacy, inefficient financial handling, or low income. The lack of savings results in debt whenever an emergency appears. That will increase their financial struggle, making it more difficult for them to use their income correctly. Setting aside money requires self-control and decisiveness, but the poor struggle with this because of their stressful lives. Stress damages our ability to make decisions and exercise self-control. Since the poor always live under significant pressure, they endure a lot of risks and barely have enough resources to cover daily needs. Poor people can't easily control impulses and plan for the long term. Setting aside money requires being hopeful about the future. Unfortunately, the poor often feel hopeless because the possibility of a better future seems unrealistic. Too often, the poor spend their potential savings on unexpected health expenses, crop losses, or other disasters. They rarely believe they'll reach any goal they hope to save for. 5. Large Households Poor people have more family members than well-off families. That stems from a lack of family planning and awareness of the implications of having many children. Poor children cannot afford to move out and choose to start and raise a family with their parents, resulting in more dependents to care for and provide for. Extended families try to live together to minimize spending, but this puts an extreme financial burden on the head of the family. 6. The poor have limited access to credit and loans. Banks don't want to give the poor access to loans and credit because doing so is unprofitable. It's expensive to verify credit worthiness, and there's always the possibility of default. Banks offer extremely high interest rates to cover their expenses and justify the risk of lending to the poor. The poor can barely pay back these high rates, so they rarely seek a loan or line of credit from a bank. What's more, banks impose a strict repayment schedule, typically demanding that the borrowing group make regular payments weekly. That is good for the banks, but discourages the poor from borrowing money if they feel unsure when they can start paying it back. For example, if a laborer is injured, they may be unable to get back to work and earn money for a long time. 
It also discourages people from taking larger loans that would bring more benefits, but take longer to repay. For example, a person might want to use a loan to start a business, but cannot get a loan big enough to cover his expenses. If you struggle to get a proper loan or credit, don't do it. A high interest loan will only damage your financial situation and put you in a deeper financial hole. Seven, play the blame game. Let's make it clear. People who always blame others for their failures in life are just people who cannot accept the wrongs. So they always blame others like their family, boss, teachers, neighbors, or society for the situation. They choose to remain in the same position rather than changing it for the better. Undoubtedly, poor people will always blame others for escaping the situation, so only they remain poor. Maybe you come across these kinds of people. Like if you ask something to poor people, they will only complain like it's a government mistake. Their boss is an idiot. Their colleague fooled them. They think everyone in this world is to blame, except themselves. Avoid this poor mentality like fire. Eight, believe they know everything. As Robert Kiyosaki once said, successful people ask questions, seek new teachers, always learn. That's the major difference between rich and poor people. Poor people believe they are expert in their field because A, they've been doing it this way for decades. B, it's their way or the highway. Or C, nobody's ever complained before with this method. Such mentality is enough to tear your hair out. Rich people will always be ready to learn something new to become successful. Nine, see obstacles instead of opportunities. People living in poverty are a hugely diverse group. Some are poor mainly because they persist in perverse and antisocial behavior. Others have done the best they can with limited resources. Thus, the two contending views of what causes poverty, people's behavior, or their adverse circumstances will be valid at least some of the time. However, in reality, people are neither as down and out nor as hardworking and dedicated to their success. You will always find poor people crying over the problems in their life rather than doing something constructive. They will always concentrate on the negative aspect of anything instead of the positive side and opportunities to fulfill their dreams. Generally, poor people see the obstacles instead of taking opportunities. However, every obstacle is a chance to grow. Without obstacles, there's no development. Meet obstacles and problems with open hands and use them to evolve. 10. Choose the company you are in. Our company is the best reflection of us. That's why rich people are demanding and choose their company carefully. Your company matters a lot and plays a vital role in building your habits, narrative, and mentality. It can also influence your decisions, which is why it is essential to be in the right company. As we all know, birds of the same feather flock together. Choose the right company and you will automatically find yourself in the right place. Don't be like poor people who waste their time with complainers and negative people. Spend your precious time with creative people. They will bring ideas and create opportunities in your life to become successful and wealthy. So, these are 10 reasons why poor people remain poor all the time and rich people rule the world. If your personality doesn't fit into these 10 reasons, you have a rich mentality and eventually will become rich. Try to think like the rich and impress the others. Being born into a low-income family is not a choice. Being 40 plus and struggling with basic needs is a choice. Living and dying destitute is a choice. We have all the time to succeed. But what do you consider the main reason why staying poor is a choice? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.